Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. So I'm gonna do uh, just a just a general message, like whatever comes up, you know? Um, I got so pissed in the last reading because that wonky ass energy totally screwed up my nail polish. Um, I'm excited to do your reading, but I gotta admit, I'm kind of over it already. I did two readings and both of them, you guys are dealing with some hater trolls, okay? We got the world here. Like, I think everybody's putting themselves out there for brand new karmic cycles, like brand new karmic agreements with people. Um, and well, I mean, wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know, you go to do something amazing and then you get fucked over by the past. At least they're gonna attempt. Let's see what is going on really in your energy. So, um, I don't know. This is just going to be a general collective. We're just going to see what comes up. See what comes up. Holy Spirit, please. Holy Spirit, I'd like to channel messages. At this time, for the viewer that needs it the most. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God! You guys, you can't make it up. You just can't. That is literally a karmic cycle starting anew. Somebody is starting a brand new karmic cycle with someone. I heard the name Michael. Page of Swords. Mike, Michael. A brand new karmic cycle. Oh my God, but you know what? This doesn't feel bad at all. You guys, okay, so typically speaking, karmic cycles, like, oh my God, when we talk about it, everybody makes it sound so horrible, but really, if you think about it, it's not horrible. It's for two people to learn a lesson, either from a past life, you guys have some unfinished business, or it's something like spirit is giving you an opportunity to discover in a mirror, discover someone that is mirroring you where you are lacking in something until well probably death i don't know until we die who knows but honestly it's until you pay off karmic debt until you realize that you don't have to have karmic relationships anymore you don't really need karmics when you don't have karma right this is a brand new cycle starting with someone they could be blonde i see here but actually you know what i'm getting guys this person is not even bad news it's not bad. Like karmic contracts, this is not a bad karmic contract. This is like, well, karmic contracts aren't normally bad. It's just the feeling that you get in it that is bad sometimes, especially when you don't progress and heal. What is the intention for this connection? Five of wands. Eight of swords. And the, all right, you do have some unfinished business with this person. You have something from a past life that needs to be discovered. There is still something here lingering in your energy between you and this person. Okay. It's a new karmic um, cycle in an already existing relationship. This person could be younger than you. We're dealing with maybe a cancer, a Pisces, maybe any fixed sign. Yeah. Scorpio, the tower. You know, it's strange. Um, You know what's weird? I'm actually feeling like you just sent this person positive energy. I know that these cards don't look it, but I feel like what just happened is the reason they're getting karma is because you finished a cycle. This tower is indicating karma. Somebody is getting karma because of what you just did. The Eight of Swords can talk about jail sometimes. So maybe you sent this person to like jail or some shit. I don't know. But they're in some sort of... Fear. This person is in some sort of fear now. How do you feel? How do you, I heard relieved. How do you feel? Yeah, six of pentacles. Relieved? It's something you just gave this person. You either prayed for them, you gave them money, you did something, and you feel a sense of relief. Why? Because you had karma still. So whatever you just did was karmic in nature and that you gave energy to the situation. When you give energy to the situation, you're helping pay off the karmic debt. So you gave them something. Could have been a good thought, a prayer, um, money. I don't know, something. And it's literally sending this person to, oh, wow, I heard jail. I also heard eviction. Holy shit. This is doing something to this person. Oh my God. It's, oh my God, you guys. So crazy. You send them good vibes and their karma starts. Their karma is starting. That's why I'm not feeling any bad vibes here, like at all. Because you're being detached from it. You're being sent away from it. 
It's like you just forgave this person or you sent them some sort of blessing and now they can finally get their karma. So this cycle is ending, yeah. Yep, 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 it's done. The lovers. I think you have somebody new coming in and I think that's why you were instructed by your guides to do this. You have somebody new coming in. You're putting yourself out there for new love. That's what I see here. King of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, maybe, that you're going to be talking to soon. You're going to be talking to somebody very logical, um, somebody who wants to kind of take it slow. They don't, they don't love to rush. This person doesn't like to rush things, okay? Could definitely be a Gemini that you're dealing with coming in. Ace of Pentacles for sure. Page, oh yeah, I, that's why I loved the energy. That's, I love the energy because you guys, seven of Pentacles, you're gonna love investing in this new person. The problem is you had something, you had to close a cycle from the past. This could have been a divorce, a breakup, something needed to happen. Something needed to happen. And I feel like whoever I'm channeling for, you just said a good prayer for your ex. Or you just said something like, wow, I hope they find like, you know, I hope they find closure. I hope they find their soulmate. Boom, brand new offer being handed to you. This is someone coming in that has great news for you. They really want to invest. You needed to clear the karma. That's what I see clearly. Let's get an oracle card here. You needed to clear karma and you just did. Is there any advice as to how this person could keep doing this? Is there, is there more to be had? Do they need to keep doing this? Do they need to keep doing this? I don't know. I, it's, it's done. It's, nothing's coming out. I feel like you just sent blessings and there's like nothing left to do. Trust, yeah. Boundaries. Yeah, I think that what's interesting is this could have been someone who actually tempted you in the past. They like really tried to um, overstep their boundaries. And now I'm actually finding that this was a trust fall into the universe for you to prove to yourself that you have strong boundaries. They can't do anything to you anymore. This person is literally either being locked up or somehow karmically in, in spiritual prison. They are not able to affect you any longer. And this was the universe trying to show you that. I feel like you sent them peace. You sent them peace and now they're going through an intense tower moment that has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with their karmic debt. Anything this viewer needs to do or be or know about? Family. Hmm. Peace. I can't make it up. You just sent them peace. Could be somebody in your family. You just sent them peace. I I I can't, you can't make it up, guys. And then we have answers here. Yeah, you see his hands over his chest. It's like you sent them loving energy or you, you wished them a family. This is somebody who just like wished their ex a beautiful family. Or like, I hope you find your soulmate or I hope that you, you know, I hope you find love. It, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, you close the cycle. It's over for good. It's over forever. And you have somebody coming in now, like somebody brand new. I heard a D name like Darius or Darian healing. I'm telling you, you have a very beautiful healing connection coming in because of this. You needed to close the cycle. So whoever I'm reading for, you just close the cycle and I'm really proud of you and so is spirit and, and it's over. It's over. Um, I am getting one last message though. Um, okay, this one. Let's actually do a blessing card for you. What's coming in soon? A secret revealed. I think it's going to be that this person's getting karma. I think that's coming in for you soon. Blank. Yes. Like you don't know yet. That's why the trust card came up. It's like you don't know that this person's getting karma or not yet. And you're about to know. A new source of income and clarity. Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. Congratulations. You're going to get clarity on this very soon. Look at that good karma. You see? You sent good karma to this person and now they have to go through a tower moment to start receiving that. Their tower moment is paying off karma. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? So you're about to get clarity very soon that this person is, um, I heard going to jail. I heard going to jail for some of you. Um, okay, all right, I love you guys. I'm gonna leave it there if you want to personal. All the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.